everyone, my name is Leanne and I am part of the Visitor Services team at Eureka. Today I thought I would teach you some animals in British Sign Language, so let's get started. So the sign for animal, we're going to take our claw hand shape just like this and move them forward for animal. The next sign I want to do is bear, so we're going to take our two fists like this and put them across ourselves for bear. The next animal is cat. And we're going to take our claw hands like this and do cat, cat. Next, cow. We're going to take our hands like this, make them look like we're on the telephone, and put the thumbs on your forehead like this and move them upwards for cow. The next word is chicken. And we're going to take our hand like this, make it into a sort of beak and put it next to your face like this and move it up and down like the beak is moving up and down. Chicken. Next we're going to do dog. So you're going to take your hands like this and extend your pointer finger and your middle finger down on both hands and move your hands downwards like this. Dog. Next duck. We're going to take our hand like this, make it look like a beak and again put it next to your cheek and move it up and down. Duck. Elephant. We're going to use our C hand shape like this and put it next to your nose and you're going to trace out its long trunk for elephant. Fish, get your hand nice and flat. I'm going to use my right hand as I'm right handed and move it forward like it's being a fish swimming through the water. Fish. Frog, you're going to take your hand like this in sort of a claw shape and put it next to your throat and move your hand up and down like this for frog. It's like its throat going ribbit. Frog. Next, giraffe. So we're going to get our C hand shape like this again and put it at the bottom of our necks and extend upwards like a giraffe's long neck. Giraffe. Guinea pig. You're going to finger spell G and then sign for pig. So it's G. Pig. So pig, you've got your fist hand like this and put it next to your nose and twist. Guinea pig. Hamster, you're going to take both hands in your claw hand shape like this and put them next to your cheeks because hamsters like to fill their cheeks with lots of food. Hamster. Next we'll sign horse. So you're going to take both hands like this, place them one on top of the other like you're holding some reins and move them forward like this, like you're clip clopping on a horse. Horse. Next, lion. So you're going to take both hands like this, like claw shapes, and put them at the top of your head and move them around in circles like it's long mane and then move forward with your hands. So, lion. Next, we'll sign monkey. So you're going to take both hands and put them underneath your arms just like this and sign for monkey. It's this. Monkey. Mouse, take your right hand, extend your pointer finger like this and put it next to your nose and then we'll twist for mouse. Parrot, I'm going to take your right hand and make a hook shape with your finger just like this and put it next to your cheek again like that and move it forwards for parrot. Parrot. Penguins, so take two hands nice and flat like this, put them to the other side like that and move it up and down for penguin. Pig, we've already signed this one, so it's your fist like this and put it next to your nose and twist. Pig. Rabbit, take your two hands like this, so your pointer finger, middle finger extended upwards and put it to the top of your head. I'm going to move one finger like this. Rabbit. Rabbit. Next we'll sign snake. This one's a little bit tricky, so you're going to put your hand like this and take your pointer finger and middle finger and you're going to make them both into hook shapes like that, like a snake's teeth. And again, put it next to your cheek like this and move it forward. Snake. So next, we're going to sign sheep. So you're going to take your two pinky fingers like this and put them next to your head and move them in circles for sheep. Turtle, take both your hands just like this and then extend both thumbs out. As you can see, just like that. And place the right hand on top of your left 
and then move your thumbs around for turtle. And last but not least, zebra. So zebras have lots of stripes. So you're going to move your hand just like this across for zebra. So your core hand and move it across your chest. Zebra. So that's all the signs I'm going to teach you today. There are lots of other different animals as well that you can learn. So maybe go out and see if you can find any other animal signs. Now I thought we could sign a song together. And I thought a good idea would be to do Old MacDonald. So the signs for Old MacDonald, you're going to take your fingers like this, your middle finger and pointer finger and put it at the top of your nose and pull down for Old. And MacDonald, we're going to finger spell an M and a D. MacDonald. And he had, so take your hand like this, nice and open wide with your fingers and pull down and close them shut. He had. And farm, take your thumbs like this and put them on your chest and then move them down for farm. He had a farm. Are we ready to sign and sing? Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow e -I -E -I -O. with a moo moo here and a moo moo there here a moo there a moo everywhere a moo moo old macdonald had a farm e -I -E -I -O. do you think you can sign and sing along with your family and do a few more verses of old macdonald see if you can have a go at that well Thank you for watching, everyone. Remember, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.